good afternoon year four. Our RE today we are learning about how do Muslims pray. Okay so you can choose your own modelled writing today. Tell me a fact you know about prayer. So it can be about one of the religions we've already looked at this term. By the end of the lesson your book should look something like this. So the five daily prayers. What is prayer? The Arabic word for prayer is salah. Prayer means supplication. It is a special form of worship to Allah. Prayer is what connects us with Allah and it is an act of love to show him we are grateful for all the wonderful, beautiful blessings that he has given us. Prayer is the second pillar of Islam. It is the first act of worship that Allah asks us to do. Prayer gives our soul peace and keeps us connected to Allah throughout the day. Okay, and we have prayer night prayer names and times. We pray five times a day. The time of each prayer depends on the sun, which means that we pray at different times daily. Okay, so we have a prayer before sunrise, at midday, in the late afternoon, after sunset and at night time. And the prayer units. Each prayer has a number of units. Rakar is the word used for one unit and rakaz is the word used for more than one unit. Okay, so this breaks down each of the prayers that we've talked about throughout the day into how many units they have, how many rakars they have. We need to remember that we always face the direction of Mecca when we pray. This is called Qibla. And why is prayer important? Prayer is the second pillar of Islam. It reminds us of our relationship with Allah. It is the key to paradise and it wipes away our sins and stops us from doing bad deeds. Okay, so there's now a video for you to watch, okay? It is found on the website or you can use the QR code on this flip chart. So pause the video and watch the video telling you all about Muslim prayer. Okay then, so you should know lots now. So you should need to tell me in your book now everything you know about Muslim prayer, okay? So you might tell me about the different prayers throughout the day. You might tell me the different movements that are involved in prayer, why Muslims choose to pray, okay? There are lots of things you could be telling me now. Your book should be filled with ideas. So pause the video and have a go. Okay then, your last task for RE. I want you to have a look at these images and I want you to try and order them, okay? So they're not currently in the right order. So we need to change them so that they are, okay? So numbering them, cutting them out if you can and numbering them from one all the way through to the final movement involved in prayer. Once you have done this, take a picture of what you've done and then send it to your teacher. Alternatively, if you don't have a printer and you are willing to show us, you could take photos of yourself uh, doing the different movements of your prayer. <laughs>